So now we'll see about the coagulase test. This coagulase test is also a very important uh, question for the university exams. So coagulase test is a test we have seen from the first class of the Staphylococcus aureus that the coagulase test is a test we can use to detect the Staphylococcus aureus or the, to differentiate the Staphylococcus aureus from other Staphylococci which are called as cones. So it is the coagulase test is the demarcating line between the Staphylococcus aureus and the coagulase negative Staphylococci cones. So this coagulase uh, test is based on the coagulase enzyme which is produced by certain instance of the Staphylococcus. The coagulase is an enzyme which is uh, which causes the clotting of the blood and uh, it is the principal virulence factor also for the Staphylococcus aureus. Okay, so uh, the coagulase test is of two types okay this uh, and why we have classified uh, the coagulase test into two types this is because the coagulase enzyme is uh, produced in two forms one is the bound coagulase which is present on the cell wall of the staphylococcus aureus and the other one is the free coagulase which is produced by the staphylococcus aureus so because the coagulase is produced in two ways that's why we have made two uh, types of coagulase test one is the slight coagulase test which will be based on the bound coagulase which is present in the cell wall and the other is the tube coagulase test which is based on the free coagulase which is produced by the released by the staphylococcus aureus so based on these two types of the coagulase which is produced by the staphylococcus aureus two types of coagulase tests have been developed one is the slight coagulase test other one is the tube coagulase test so slight coagulase test uh, detects the bound coagulase on the cell wall of the bacteria and it, it, it is not dependent on the pla plasma coagulase reacting factor CRF. This is a very important MCQ. Okay, so the slight coagulase test is the test which is not dependent on the plasma coagulase reacting factor, while the tube coagulase test is dependent on the co uh, coagulase reacting factor. This is a very important MCQ. One should remember so. We have till now we have seen two types of coagulase test one is the slide well, other is the tube coagulase test the slide coagulase test requires the crf while the i mean uh, slide coagulase test does not require crf while the tube coagulase test requires the crf then we have the slide coagulase test in the slide coagulase test the procedure is different and in the tube coagulase test also the procedure is different in the slide coagulase test the procedure is that we uh, take a glass slide and we divide the glass slide into two halves by a pencil or a marker so the glass slide is divided into two halves by a pencil or a marker and then a drop of slime is taken on both side one part is for taste other for control so suppose if this is a glass slide then we have to divide it into two parts one is for taste other one is for control we take a normal slime drop uh, one drop of saline on both sides and then colony of the staph aureus is added on both sides. We will add the colonies of the staph or staph aureus is added here also, is added here also. Okay, this is test part. Okay, the staph aureus colony is added here also and in the test part also in the con in the control part also. Now human blood is added on the test side. So blood is added on the test side. Now what we see is that the clumping in the test side is considered positive test so we'll see the clumping is present here clumping is seen here and when the clumping is uh, present in the test side that means the test is positive the slide coagulase test is positive if there is no clumping that means the slide coagulase test is negative that and when you move to the tube coagulase test then in the tube coagulase test the procedure is that we take three test tubes three clean glass test tubes are taken three clean uh, three clean glass test tubes are taken and in the tube one one ml of the anticoagulated plasma mixed with one ml of normal saline with 0.1 ml of broth culture of staphylococcus aureus is taken this is the test tube okay tube 1 is the test tube uh, in which we in which we are doing the test well the tube tube 2 in the test in the tube 2 we take 1 ml of the anticoagulated plasma which is mixed with 1 ml of normal saline simple okay this is the control tube in tube 3 
वन एम एल ऑफ द एंटी कोएगुलेटेड प्लाज्मा मिक्स विथ वन एम एल ऑफ सेलाइन विथ जीरो पॉइंट वन एम एल ऑफ कोएगलेज पॉजिटिव कल्चर दिस इज द पॉजिटिव कंट्रोल वी नो दैट द स्टाफ ऑफ रिस इज प्रजेंट इन अ कल्चर एंड वी एड दैट कोएगलेज पॉजिटिव कल्चर ऑन दैट ट्यूब थ्री दिस इज पॉजिटिव कंट्रोल वेल दिस इज नॉर्मल कंट्रोल ओके ट्यूब टू इज फॉर नॉर्मल कंट्रोल ट्यूब थ्री इज फॉर पॉजिटिव कंट्रोल ट्यूब टू इज फॉर नॉर्मल कंट्रोल ट्यूब थ्री इज फॉर पॉजिटिव कंट्रोल वेल ट्यूब वन वॉज द टेस्ट ट्यूब इन विच वी आर डूइंग द टेस्ट विदर द कोएगलेज इज आई मीन विदर द बैक्टीरिया इज कोएगलेज पॉजिटिव और नॉट सो इन द ऑल दिस थ्री ट्यूब्स वन टू एंड थ्री ऑल आर ऑल दिस टेस्ट ट्यूब्स विल बी इनक्यूबेटेड एट द थर्टी सेवन डिग्री सेंट एगेन एंड देन वी विल इंटरप्रेट एट अ एट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स लेटर सो इन द इंटरप्रिटेशन वट वी टू सी दैट द टेस्ट इज पॉजिटिव इफ क्लम्पिंग इज सीन इन द ट्यूब वन द टेस्ट विल बी नेगेटिव इफ नो क्लम्पिंग इज सीन इन द ट्यूब वन बिकॉज दैट वॉज द टेस्ट ट्यूब सो बेस्ड ऑन द क्लम्पिंग इफ क्लम्पिंग इज पोजन द टेस्ट ट्यूब इन द टेस्ट ट्यूब वन देन द टेस्ट इज पॉजिटिव एंड इफ इट इज एबसेंट इन द ट्यूब वन देन इट विल बी नेगेटिव देन ट्यूब टू वॉज कंट्रोल एज वी हैव डिस्कस इट वॉज फॉर कंट्रोल एंड द ट्यूब थ्री इज द पॉजिटिव कंट्रोल to see the validity of the test so these two tests the control and the tube 2 and tube 3 and for the testing the validity of the test this is all about the coagulase test